Hello. I'm here at Dorks today looking at some jazz baritone mouthpieces. Uh, this one is the, the classic Maya. Uh, I'm playing a 7MM. Uh, that means it's a, a seven lay uh, with a, a medium facing and a medium chamber. Um, somewhere else on the, the Dork site, you'll probably find a review of uh, the Otto Link Tone Edge. This um, is made by the same company, uh, but has a slightly narrower chamber, uh, and you'll probably hear a bit more projection. Uh, but it, it's a, a fairly similar mouthpiece if you're uh, after that sort of thing. Um, to put it in context, I sometimes use a link on tenor if I want to be really mellow, uh, but pretty much all the time, unless I want to be really bright, I use a Maya on the alto. Anyway, um, here's a bit of a, a demonstration of what it can do. <laughs> So again, similar to the link, I'd say, you know, if you're going to play a, a Jerry Mulligan style baritone, uh, perhaps the old sort of 40s, 50s swing style baritone, a bit of big band stuff sitting in a Glenn Miller section, this is an absolutely perfect mouthpiece. Um, it's got excellent projection, really, really great tone, um, and it works really well across the range of a baritone, um, right from a low A all the way up to, to, to the harmonic range um, with ease. I'm using, uh, incidentally, uh, an upgrade ligature. This is the BG Duo. Uh, this is actually the tenor ligature, but it fits very well uh, on most uh, jazz baritone mouthpieces. So, uh, so check that out because, um, you know, it does make a, 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 a little bit of a difference to the sound. Anyway, let's have a listen to what this mouthpiece can do. <laughs> Thank you. 